if a cone has a height h equal to twice the radius r and volume v, then the radius r is equal to the cube root of three v divided by two pi. We were asked to use this equation to determine the volume of a cone when the radius equals three feet and the height is twice the radius. So it's important to recognize this equation is only true when the height of the cone is equal to twice the radius. So looking at the cone below, this equation is only true when the height h is equal to two r. The information we're given does satisfy this requirement and therefore we can use this equation to determine the volume of the cone when the radius is equal to three feet. For the next step, we substitute three for r into our equation and then solve the equation for v. So performing this substitution, we would have the equation three equals the cube root of three v divided by two pi, and now we need to solve this equation for v. Because the radical is already isolated on one side of the equation, the next step is to raise both sides of the equation to the power of the index, which means for the next step we cube both sides of the equation. Simplifying on the left, three cubed is equal to three times three times three, which equals 27. So we have 27 equals. On the right, the cube undoes the cube root, and we're left with the fraction three v over two pi. For the next step, let's clear the fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by two pi. So we multiply the right side by two pi and multiply the left side by two pi. On the left, 27 times two pi equals 54 pi. On the right, we simplify before multiplying. As a fraction, two pi has a denominator of one. Notice we have a common factor of two pi between the numerator and denominator. There's one two pi and two pi here as well as here. The product is now just three v times one which equals three v. So now we have the equation 54 pi equals three v. To solve for v, the volume, the last step is to divide both sides by three. Simplifying, 54 divided by three is equal to 18. The left side simplifies to 18 pi. On the right side, three divided by three simplifies to one. One times v is v. So now we know the exact volume of the cone, v is equal to 18 pi, and the units would be cubic feet. But let's also approximate the volume by using the approximation of 3.14 for pi. So we can also say the volume is approximately equal to 18 times 3.14. 18 times 3.14 is equal to 56.52, and of course the units are still cubic feet. So using the given equation, which again is only true when the height is equal to twice the radius, we we're able to determine the volume of the cone from the given information. I hope you found this helpful.